were probably one of the most all-round players in world cricket. You were a wicketkeeper, you bat, you bowl sometimes, and now you're in a leadership position for Guyana. How much pressure is that for you going into a tournament, especially when you're playing at home? Uh, well, you know, this is something I've been doing for a, a long time now. And, um, you know, coming into this, this tournament, you know, um, a lot of young players are wrong. And, you know, my, I know my role and, you know, all the girls and things. So I think it's, it's a bit pressuring, but, you know, as a senior cricketer, you know, you got to be able to balance and manage these things sometimes. So, but I think it's going to be a great um, challenge and a great experience because we get a lot of senior players who I work with and, you know, we just got to go there and, and just do whatever we know that we can do best. Right, you, you said you understand your role. I mean, you're one of the senior players in Guyana. You're probably the, the most senior one in this Guyana setup. You recently played in the in the ICC World Cup. Well, what is your message to your players now going into this tournament? Because there are quite a few young players here in this setup that have never played at the regional level. Um, I think you know, for me, um, my my part is always be simple. You know, just just stick to the basic and just do the things that you know you did to get into the team. Don't change anything. You know, just um, always a little advice to them. You know, just um, put in the, the extra work, even though sometimes the coaches get their own um, coaching and stuff going on. But always um, find the time to put in that extra work. So, I think that's something I always try to motivate the players them on most time whenever I get a little chat and discussion with them. Mm. Alright, in recent years, you, your cricket has been coming on at the international level. You've been more consistent, especially with the bat. Um, obviously, with Ghana, you know you want to win this tournament here in Ghana. But personally for you, what is it you want to achieve from this? Um, coming back from an injury, because I was injured and I was out. Right. So, you know, um, after the injury, I, I started to do some specific work on my button. And I think it has paid off a lot because I really, you know, do a lot of work. and. That's something I always want to achieve because, well, in my keeping, I always deal with the keeping, but my right. batting is the, one of the biggest concerns for me. Mm -hmm. But I, I find myself in a bit of farm, so I just want to maintain it and keep tapping up on, on that farm and just keep it for a long period of time. What would you say is the strength of this guy on the team? Um, our strength on the team is our bowling because over the years we've been doing pretty good in our bowling, but you know, we just got to um, tight up on our batting, so we're doing a lot of um, skills on our, on our batting. So I think if we just, our batting just click, everyone chipped in, we will be pretty good this year in this regional tournament. So I think the girls are working pretty hard, but we just got to keep stick to that basic and um, come out and do the, the necessary thing that we know that we can do better to improve in all part of our game. You know, I always think about Shamir Campbell as a, as a Shivner and trying to ball again women's cricket. I think, you know, she's that big of a figure. And I think, you know, the other tour team players in the dressing room really look up to her as a, as a senior player. I think she's very focused now. Um, she's very determined. And I think in the last couple of years, she has really uh, flipped the switch. Um, you know, I think we expect big things from her. Being the captain, being the main player, I think, um, you know, that's, an, that's the opportunity that she relishes.